new from Killer RC is this new kill switch that we call the uh, Killer B and uh, it has some new features compared to our our previous kill switch that uh, I think a lot of our customers will find uh, very convenient. On this new kill switch we have uh, a buzzer output and an LED output and I'll show you what those do here in a second. And one, one issue that uh, we often have on, on RC cars, on the gas powered RC cars, is uh, forgetting to turn off our receiver battery. And what that can do is, uh, in addition to running down your battery, you know, whenever you turn off your transmitter, if I forget to turn off my receiver battery, my throttle servo is now in fail-safe mode. It's applying the brake like it's supposed to whenever you lose radio signal. The only problem is if I forget to turn this off, this will eventually burn up my throttle servo if I leave it for 10, 20 minutes or however long. And that can be an expensive mistake. These servos cost hundreds of dollars. So with this new kill switch, we solved that issue. On this Baja 5T, I have the new uh, Killer B kill switch installed. And real quick, I'm going to show you uh, just how, uh, how this works. Here I've got the uh, stock HPI radio. And uh, this kill switch will work with with any three channel radio from from something like this stock HPI radio all the way up to uh, a high end model like the Futaba 4PK and uh, all this does is plugs into your third channel like so and uh, you'll turn on your power you got the green light on bottom and uh, that's what we want to look for whenever we're trying to start the engine is a solid green light and if uh, if I turn off my transmitter which simulates uh, losing radio signal this will start flashing that means the engine has been killed I also can remotely kill the engine by flipping the uh, the third uh, channel trim button there I would have also killed the engine one necessary part of adding a kill switch to your RC uh, car, boat, or helicopter is that you need to connect the wiring from the kill switch to your ignition coil on your engine. And we have this wiring already made up. There's other variations of this wiring that, that you can choose from. But this uh, will go in here behind your fan shroud and these connect to the two uh, male prongs on your ignition coil. You'll then run this behind the, in the fan shroud underneath your fuel tank, notch out a little spot in your battery box, and run this into the battery box where it will then connect. And it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter which way you connect it, red or black, either side works. Just stick those in there, tighten down those two little screws, on the Killer B kill switch, we have two spots here. The black one is for the, the optional buzzer, and that can go anywhere in your battery box. It's nice and thin, uh, should be easy to fit in there. You could even glue it to the, the lid of the battery box if you wanted to. And just anywhere in the battery box, it's loud enough that you'll be able to hear it through the plastic. The Baja 5T, we've already got it installed in here. Our little buzzers inside here, inside there just underneath this flap, it's loud enough that it can be heard uh, through the radio box. Okay, now my engine can be started. buzzer is reminding me right now that the engine is killed. If I try to start it right now, it will be impossible to start.
Okay, the buzzer's off. I can now start the engine. Now I've just killed my engine remotely and the buzzer is now reminding me that the engine is killed and cannot be restarted until I turn my trim back to zero, like so. The red Dean's plug here is for an optional LED, which when connected up shows you the status. This LED does the same thing as that one, but this LED can be mounted where it's easy to see. You can drill a little quarter inch hole in the lid of your battery box, stick the LED through, and I include a little uh, lens that fits over top of it and keeps it nice and protected. And you can then visually see the status of your kill switch. As you can see, it will turn off when I flip the trim and the buzzer sounds. When I turn off the transmitter, it will flash. If you'd like your LED in a different location, like many guys like their LED in the, uh, in the engine shroud, you just drill a little quarter inch hole there, stick the LED through, put the lens on, run it down behind the shroud, underneath the fuel tank, notch out a spot in the battery box where it will then connect to your kill switch like that. And there you have it, that's the uh, Killer RC, Killer B kill switch with uh, optional buzzer and LED output.